What's up, guys? It's Hot Ed Seven Narcy T. Oh, let me take a puff out of the vape. Love this thing. Anyways, uh, another one of my uh, shoot 'em ups crossfire for 2018. Today I bring you another Switch title shoot 'em up that's uh, pretty basically under the radar for many people, uh, just like myself. But I picked it up recently. Uh, the the name of the game. I'm hoping that I don't murder this name, so please bear with me. Aces of Luftwaffe. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Aces of the Luftwaffe. I think that's the correct pronunciation for that. I'm not a German person, so sorry if I mess it up. But anyway, Aces, as I'm going to be calling it from here on out, is a cool little shoot 'em up that I, I found in the eShop for the Switch. Uh that I think you're gonna appreciate. Um, it has this kind of like mobile game feeling. I haven't done much research on it. I have to confess I haven't followed this series. I know there was a, a first part that appeared when I was looking for the art assets to, uh, for this video. But again, I'm going in new in this series. If uh, anybody of you guys have had experience with this game or this series before, leave a comment down below but I'm a first-timer for this and so far what I've seen is pretty good and for the price you can't go wrong I think I hope I didn't I don't mess this up I think it was ten dollars but if not we'll go here really quick let me bring down this awesome music bye bye all right so Let's go in here. Let me bring this up a bit. Because I had it set up for my last video, which was uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I hope you guys have picked that up because it's an amazing game. I still can't get over it. But, yeah. Um, let me see if I can set this up here. There we go. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go in the eShop. Well, actually, no, because if we go in the eShop, then I'm going to have to ha 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 the code. Huh. Never mind. You guys go in. Check it out. I believe it's... I believe it's 10 bucks. If I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. I should have written the price down. But most of these shoot 'em ups uh, be it the psycho ones, the psycho ones, or the the arcade um, conversions that they're doing, like the Neo Geo ones and the other the the, the other arcade uh, machine type deals, they're very cheap. They're between seven ninety nine and nine ninety nine, so you can't go wrong either way. Now this title, what's I really gravitated, made me gravitate to this title was the fact that even though it has a mobile game aesthetic, I think I'm gonna have to turn this a bit down. It's really loud. Even though it has a mobile game aesthetic, it has a lot of meat to this bones. I mean, what, I'm, what I mean is that it's not a straight up shooter, you know, you just put in the credits and just shoot away. It has different tiers for you to build. It's kind of like a mixture of RPG elements with shoot 'em ups, which is pretty cool if you want a more substantial experience with your shoot 'em ups. For example, let's go in here right away. First off, you have one a choice of one of four ships and characters. One that you choose as the main character that you're going to be moving around with and shooting, and the other ones are going to be your backup. Now, after you finish a level, like you see here above, I have a, a, a rank two because I finished the first level, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it again. After you do that, you go into the skills tab, and with uh, 
those little gem, green gem things, you can purchase more power-ups for uh, your different characters. So all in all, it's pretty cool. Here you can choose between having one of the NPCs as your main as your main character. I'll just keep it here, this dude. And leave all of these here as the NPCs. And go in and give you a full screen view here for you guys. Oh, by the way, I'm rocking the Pac-Man shirt. So let's go ahead. Even though I have unlocked this one, I'm going to go for the first one just to, I, to show you guys how the layout and the mechanics work for this game. to admit if there's a one gripe that I have with the game so far is that for it being uh, in terms of graphics pretty light and it's a, a light genre as it is as a shoot 'em up it has quite a bit of loading as you can see especially considering that this is a cartridge and not a you know a disc based game but, you know, small gripe, still controls, works, it looks, it sounds great, can't go wrong with the price. to the shooting. Sir, we are under attack. You what? Screw it. What's going on up there? Countermeasures granted. Yes, yeah, a little cheesy, but it works. Get ready. Fire full blast. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> now, one of the things I enjoy about this game that made me want to look into it and actually purchase it is that it reminds me like a modern, slower version of 1943. And you guys know that I love that, that game. Still considering going back to it to uh, work on the record. That Aaron and I set out to break. Now you do have special weapons assigned to different buttons. And the cool thing about this game is that you the damage that you sustain, you visually see it on screen. As you can see by the broken gra uh, glass effect. Let's do a special move here. Woohoo! That was cool. Now it is a slower paced game because it's meant for you to do different types of object objectives and you know collect power-ups and stuff like that. It's kind of like mission based. So it's not like a straight up a hectic kind of 
deal like with uh, bullet hell shooters. You're in charge. I'm sorry. That paid again. But if you want a story driven kind of game, this this will fill the gap. It's chronic, you know. He's suffering from it since childhood. It's okay. I just have to keep cool for a while. See, like right now, my character is poison. So I have to just try to keep still for a bit until he can recover. So that kind of limits my movement and what I can do. I just gotta keep moving very slowly from side to side. Try not to get killed. Let that meter build up. Get his health back. Cover. I think I did. Yep, I did. There you go. And I powered up. Oh, took a hit. Key to dominating in this game is to have your your friends, which are the other ships that uh, follow you around. Try to keep them, not lose them. Sir, threat eliminated. Sir, they flew aircraft of ours. What does it mean? It could be a coincidence, but we just lost signal to our carriers in the Atlantic. To homecoming troops from Europe. You think it was them? I have no idea, but we should have a look at it. Sir, send us the coordinates. We're heading for the ocean. All right. All right, so I unlocked an achievement. I must have done a bit better than the first time around, because this time at least I didn't lose any lives. Side mission, 89%. Level 3. If I go into the skills, I have two of the green gems. You can buy one of these. Uh, how much is this one? Increases pilot damage dealt. Let, let's get this one. And once we get another point, we'll build up for the other dude's uh, weapon. Which is increase a critical hit chance. So let's get into the next level. But you can already see how everything is laid out. Like I said, it's a more story driven game. It's a slower pace than the usual shoot 'em up fare, but it is a welcome change. You know, it's something that is gonna have a bit more lasting uh, effect uh, versus like the high challenge and, and quick you know five six stage fare on a regular shoot 'em ups um, that we're used to. Skip this. No, I can't. Apparently. Negative. I've seen it before. In the past. At Pearl Harbor. Johnny's right. That's too many impacts for an assault. Guys? Guys? You see what I see? Are these Germans? Crowds! Damn crowds! I really hate those crowds! Oh, damn! Watch out for Johnny! He's bugging out again! Oh, boy. There we go. So now instead of the poison stuff that we had, the first character we have Johnny, one of our co-pilots here, uh, or one of our wingmen, kind of bugging out. So apparently we have to stay away from him because he's in berserk mode or something like that. 
Ouch. We got destroyed. Not good. Alright, we got fire upgrade. So the objectives is to get all of the subs. Come on. Ooh, look at that weapon. Nice. I wonder if we get a boss fight. Alright, so that's gonna be it for it uh, for now, guys. I think that should give you a good idea of what to expect in this game. It's a pretty cool title for you to relax after playing long sessions like myself of Xenoblade Chronicles or Legend of Zelda or one of the bigger main main titles. So. Kind of, it's kind of like it's weird because you know the soothing music, the nice little um, animation kind of graphics, kind of give it like a laid-back kind of feel to a genre that usually is kind of hectic and crazy and fast-paced and really challenging. So it's a really cool title for you guys to pick up. Uh, next up, of course, I'm gonna be doing for you guys. Let me get out of here. Next up that I'll be doing for you guys for the Shoot 'em Up series is going to be Zero Gunner 2. Now I still have Strikers and I have Pulsar uh, from the Neo Geo collection, of course. So stay tuned for that, guys. That's going to be coming really, really soon. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of the Shoot 'em Up uh, Crossfire series 2018. You guys take care. I will see you later.